I guess just tell me a little bit about like you know yourself and what you do. Um, sure. Um, Full-time painter for the last 15 years, we were painting pictures, and then in the last 10, teaching about my ideas based uh, around creativity and uh, techniques for catalysting it, both like you know your imagination as well as like techniques with paintbrushes and fingers and whatever. Basically, uh, teaching that all around the world and place for the last while, and then run this space. Uh, it's my studio, kind of first and foremost. Then we do art shows in the front room once a month and throw parties here and there. And um, then I'm here for the public. If people want to come in and buy a painting or have a conversation about a painting, whatever the case may be. Um, and then that for like the last, it's going on five years now. So that, um, everybody's yeah. style varies from time to time. Mm -hmm. um, so. Um, Let's see, maybe we could talk about a specific painting here. Um, uh, I, mean, I can kind of go on the random, random too. I mean, the base process is a bunch of layers. Identifying, yeah. repurposing, kind of just making marks and colors, letting that kind of drive you, finding the color set that you're into, playing off of it. Like, I just mix everything for primary, so you get a lot of random. Color interaction in the beginning, I'll just take handfuls of paint or blobs of paint and just smear it all around and let it mix however it mixes, slash, you know, control, be aware, see it do something and like it and shift it one direction or the other. But a lot of it's kind of happenstance and then playing off of that. The same with the marks in the beginning. Do a lot of like uh, printing with my hands with paper, monoprints, whatever, dry brush techniques, random lines. It's kind of like the, the, basic thing is to just kind of do whatever you want, whenever you want. Yeah, is there any specific piece uh, that stands out to you now that you particularly um, are drawn to at this moment? Like a favorite or? It's hard to say, dude. I mean, it kind of fluctuates a lot with whatever's kind of newest a lot of times, but also, I don't know, whatever's most involved. I mean, it's kind of a funny timing because I haven't really worked in the studio in like two weeks. I was out of town and then so, Yeah, yeah, for sure. But, uh, you know, I don't know, pretty into that kind of rainbow Jesus looking guy right now. Cool, what yeah, deal is. that's pretty cool. Um, um, yeah, I like that one. Funny enough, in the background of it all, I've been um, <laughs> just made a sale of these like really crazy large works, so I just kind of went through them recently, and there's some like six by eight foot paintings in there. Um, that way into this big boat one, there's a print of it here, and it's in a bunch of pieces over there. It's probably like six pieces, but I think, uh, I think there's a print of it here. Um, if you could say where you draw, like your inspiration, maybe. Uh huh. Sure. Yeah, I mean, my main inspiration is like primitive sculpture, would probably be the number one. I uh, collect like a lot of old masks and stuff. Um, don't really like paintings very much in general. Like, seriously, not to sound like an idiot, but I, I don't know. There's like, I like paintings here and there, but I'm not like, oh my god, this painter, that painter. Yeah. Even painters I like, I don't really like, but this stuff, like across the board, I mean, you could look on the shelves over there, and it's like, I think I have a Ralph Stedman book, and then like, everything else is like African sculpture, or Native American sculpture, or whatever, whatever, whoever. So that, and the animal books, and then just photos from, uh, like, going to those kind of museums, like history museums is kind of my jam, more than a... Uh, Art or painting in museums, I don't know what you'd call that, I guess. So yeah, that's that's kind of the main thing, that. And then like, I don't know, I grew up skateboarding and reading comic books, so there's definitely some like pop culture of that nature in there mixed. But I would say it's still like, that, that stuff's like the kind of like the passive side effect kind of come in, you know, just because you grew up on it and you did it, but like as far as like the- It's in your, it's in your psyche. Yeah, but I don't really reference it. I don't really sit around looking at old skate magazines for graphics, you know what I mean? Right. It's like I looked at all those boards, I was so into them, thought they were so cool when I was a kid, but mainly the stuff that I, I think about on a more regular basis when I'm creating is the, the sculptures and the masks. And then just like the idea of like old culture, old civilization, I guess, maybe even, maybe culture I think is not that even there's, a word, you know? There's something to be said about, like, um, <coughs> kind of like our ancient brains, because, um, you know, we've been evolving for, you know, however many thousands and thousands of years, and, like, you know, I think we still have some kind of primitive, you know, remnants still in there, like, um, you know, I know that we evolve as a species, but I mean, we've only been technologically advanced for, you know, not very long. Mm -hmm. And you know, considering we've, we've existed f for millenniums, just on, you know, and, you know, through cave painting and stuff like mm -hmm. that, so. 
um, I think that that's cool. Um, yeah, it seems like a fair place to go to, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, I thought about that when I was first painting. Like, I didn't really get into painting, like, like thinking I'm going to be an artist right. or whatever. It's like I was a little kid drawing pictures, and I was like, I want to draw pictures and sell them to people. And then my parents were like, no. And I was like, okay. And I was like, oh, I'll play guitar. And then just, like, band messed up after a while, and then nothing was going on, and just found painting as survival, kind of like creative survival mechanism. And then was just like, I don't even know. Like, I didn't really think about selling them or doing what with them. But when I thought about the idea of painting and what should I paint, because it was just like, I don't know, a lot of options, you know, what are you, what are you good at? What are you, you don't even know what you're good at, you're just fucking around trying to figure it out. But I thought to myself, like, I don't know, that just, again, was something I was always into from, like, being so little, like, ancient cultures and stuff, and just thinking it was cool and interesting. Same with the museums going when I was, like, little. And then, uh, just, I don't know, man, it seems like it's free from all the other shit right. that I don't know about, for one, and then for two, I don't want to know about, you know, almost. So it's like, I don't know, what were these people doing and why? It's like, I don't know, there was some kind of just there personal is a, reflection. There is a connection, I think, that we have as humans anyway, I mean, to to stuff like that. Um, whether or not we decide to, like, acknowledge it, you know, I mm -hmm. think that there's definitely something there. What, what did it take to get your, your own gallery, I guess? Mm -hmm. How'd you come across that? Getting to a point where you require this much space to work, I guess, so that you can, you know... Well, for one, get enough work to pay for the space, I guess, or the motivation to want the space to know that it'll, if you had the space, what would you do? What other kind of creativity would you do? And just having the room to expand. Um, and then, I guess, having a back catalog of work that you could want to share with people. That was kind of a big drive for me. So path is different for everybody. And, oh, for sure. and I think, like, you don't have to, you know, just you being an example, if you don't have to follow that traditional mm -hmm. sort of, like, mold of what, you know, you have to do. You just kind of have to keep a dream alive in yourself. And totally, dude. That is more on the head than you could even think about now. And that's like my other moment of reality. It's like 15 years, right? Painting all the time, doing all this shit, get to this level, do all this stuff. It's like that's awesome, but it's just weird. It's like, what do you do to keep going? Because you realize that like, that's kind of really it. Like a whole bunch of the rest can be a game or not a game. I mean, yeah, you got to do quality work. You got to persist. You got to make yourself available communicate about your work, all this stuff is, it all helps itself, but it's like the, the biggest thing is like, what do you keep doing to be excited? So, um, have you ever been lost in your art work? I mean, I get lost in it every day on some level. If, it, if, if, if it's like, you do know what to paint and you don't know what's going on, I mean, that's, that's what you're going for, I think, is trying to get in that kind of connection zone with your work of like creating and, and emitting like the the feelings and expressions you want to emit in a way that actually feels good. It's not just like, oh, I'm achieving this look of this guy or this figure or this form. It's like, it's achieving its visual that's so pleasing to you, but yet you're having that experience just in like the paint leaving the brush or your finger or the smear or the way you're interacting with the media as well as like seeing it come into play. So that, that's like one kind of lost, I guess. Like if you're talking about just falling off track and not knowing where your zone is, that too, that's, that's also an important thing. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of on that same directive with the permanent sculptures and that as my kind of backbone with my work. I'd say for like 13 years, it didn't really change much. It expanded, it grew, became more like in depth, it evolved, but it didn't really veer from the, the main uh, directive of just like, how do I get tighter and looser? How do I let things find well, yeah, themselves? Yeah, and I got lost kind of on accident. It was weird. I was like really focused on that and... Um, was teaching a lot and I kind of was just overdoing everything a lot like I just kind of take opportunities I don't know I don't want to go back to a normal job ever I mean 15 years is a long time and so just seeing the basic shapes and the basic colors and markers and then just kind of being burned out on class and this mission and trying to teach this to people is really challenging I mean it's super fun to me it's a very uh, like a potent way of working and getting self-informed from just your your ideas that might be like you know you know you have them but they're kind of you subdue them or you don't believe in them fully where it's like if you're going to paint your ideas every day from that standpoint it's like you have them every day it's like no this is what you believe dude you could ignore it all you want but this dude's going to keep showing up or this painting or that painting or this bear why'd you paint 10 bears when you want to paint a whale or something so anyway there's all this good information but trying to convey it is, is sometimes hard and i was trying to also tell students like dude it's really just about like the experience you're having it's about colors and sizes and elements whether it's a a Jesus guy or a weird mm, primitive mountain or a rabbit or, or, or dragons or whatever whatever your brain's gonna come out with it could just be just triangles and colors and so then these paintings started coming